<laughs> you, you make a good ape. I'm a trunk monkey. <laughs> Just be careful. We don't need OSHA over here. We don't have any workers. Oh, camp. it'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Oh! All right, folks, so today's the day that we're gonna get rolling here. We gotta put the auger up yet to our drying bin. We gotta check a tire on the tractor or the grain cart, I can't remember. One might, one of the tires might be low. And David's on his way with the combine now. We have no idea what the moisture's gonna be at. It could be too, too wet. We don't know, we're gonna try it out and see. And if it's at a good, good moisture level, then we're gonna go all day and fill up this drying bin. And if it's not, we'll have to wait a couple days and, and try again some other time. It's gonna get a little chaotic around here. We still got hog chores to do. We, got, we still got farmer grade meat orders we gotta pack. So it's gonna be a never ending circus around here for the next couple weeks till we get everything done. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it, makes it exciting. We're gonna get started, put this auger up first and then check the tire pressure and then get in the fields and start going. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. Gotta get the auger put up to that bin there. And it's, it's a little bit of a tricky game because you gotta back up enough to make the spout of the auger hit right where it needs to be. It's gonna take a little bit of finagling. We get it every year somehow, so I think we ought to be all right. And you also gotta watch out for this shed here. Don't wanna hit that either, so we get it. Trial and error will get you a long ways. I'd go a little more. All right, go down. I'd say that's about good. All right, we got her lined up like butter. We got a little dicey there on the corner of this building, <laughs> but we, Dad was able to finagle it away from disaster. The reason that I get so close to that is because we could come over and set it up so that the auger was here, but when you have feed trucks and if we're selling pigs and semis got to go through here, I don't like having the tractor sitting out in the driveway and then everybody having to drive around. It's a hell of a lot easier if this is all just this way. So I just try, always try to finagle it so that the auger's as close to that shed. I just got, I got way too far. So it's fine where it's at. <laughs> you, you make a good ape. I'm a trunk monkey. <laughs> Just be careful. We don't need OSHA over here. We don't have any workers. Oh, camp. it'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Oh! <laughs> Moral of the story is take the pin out of the auger before you put it up. So what do we got here? All right, well, we got so much corn out there <laughs> that it barely fits in there. So we're going to put those on it. And hopefully we can make it a little farther and make your life a little better. That's right, because I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut right. off. Right. Yeah. Hopper soon, extensions. As soon as I dump, usually you get halfway back to the trailer or the wagon, and I'm already blinking at you. That was the nice thing. This combine, it's 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 nice. It's better. It <laughs> runs faster, but, <laughs> but we need some more extension on the hopper. Well, so get, that's what these are. Problems. So we're gonna put this bad boy on there. Hopefully, the last one I had didn't fit. So hopefully this will. How's it looking? It looks right-ish. To me, it should be on there a little bit farther, but we'll see. But let's be honest, you would have threw the instructions away anyway. I would have thrown the instructions. He wouldn't have used those. Yeah. Got it. There we go. Perfect. Torque's firing up the auger, lubing up the chains, getting everything lubricated, making sure it's all running right. It's taking a little more time than maybe we thought, but it's gonna be worth it because like David said, when we're running the grain cart, this is gonna give me more time to unload and him to just keep picking corn. It's worth it. And I don't always wanna be stressed out knowing that he's full and I gotta come right back and get a load. So it'll be, it'll be definitely worth the time spent up here all right well i think we got them on the right way we had to just well 
I say we. David had to figure out where they all went. But now he's moving up the shutoff switch. So it shuts off a little higher. Doesn't do you any good to have the shutoff switch stay where it's at. Kind of beats the purpose of putting the extenders on. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Maybe the corn will push it out. And hey, this will do. It'll work. This will do. Yeah. Got it figured out. They're on. We're in good shape now. Soon we will get started and see where our moisture's at and if we're good we will be officially starting harvest today can't imagine what you're gonna say i was just gonna tell you don't get all cocky no matter what the yield is profit has already been spent i splurged i bought myself a new pair of gloves and one of my boots is cracked we're back to even right now nothing so. for me if you can squeeze your big feet into a size 10 then you can use these otherwise I hope we don't need gum boots in this project. Used and abused. That's just what I am. All righty, folks. We're officially underway here. Harvest 2024. Well, here's the deal. Nothing's happening. And the reason nothing's happening is because we got the ends off and you can kind of see where every tile line is and that corn that's green i think that's either i mean i think that's right on top of a tile line this corn is mm, every bit of 27 percent i think the issue we got is david's combine it's saying it's about 25. it sure doesn't feel like 25 and our handheld tester it's testing like 28 29 27.9 he's trying to recalibrate his moisture sensor on his 660 his brain's starting to hurt a little bit i think okay so we got some end rows off and i'm reading 25 percent on the moisture i believe i need to adjust this or check and make sure that that's what we're getting so i'm gonna get a sample out of the tank here and see if i can figure that out so hold tight all right there's the honey hole Get us a little sample there. Hit the power button. Let's see what we got. What is it? Combine says it's 25. This says it's 29 and a half. So it's a little bit wet. Field average for moisture is 25%. I don't know how accurate that is exactly but uh, I think we're gonna pull off the end rows and test out the uh, Torque and Sawyer's dryer we're gonna give that thing a real show here but uh, I think we're gonna get the end rows off and probably call it a day because taking 10 points out of corn is a that's a long process okay so here's what I'm dealing with here I got really green stuff that took the extra Cialis over there. The ears are still fully at attention. And this dead stuff over here, well, that stuff's sticking up. But the dead stuff, you can see the ears are hanging down. So the stuff that's hanging down is what we want. Those green ones, you can see they're still standing up. And those are really wet. So we're going to get this dead stuff off here today. And we're going to let that stuff die next week. think that we've done something and then we're gonna quit so not that much going on we'll probably pick another load so 1800 bushel probably so i was kind of wrong a little bit i mean we're picking corn but it's nothing it's just it's not gonna be a full day of it 
which that's usually what it'll be once it's dry enough. But another downside of today, this is just part of harvest. Not everything goes right, you know? Gotta put hopper extensions on, gotta fix the bin before you get started, and your radios don't even work. First day, we're having radio issues, so our walkie-talkies aren't even, aren't even working, and the corn isn't even dry enough. Getting these ends off will make when we do start going full bore, it'll just be nice to have the ends off because we can just get right into the field and just start crack a lacking and not have to mess around with the ends. It's a little timely to get the ends off and it's probably the most boring part of harvest for everyone involved. Combine driver, grain cart operator, running the semi, running the wagons, everyone involved. It's just boring because it's slow. It's good we'll get it out of the way because today's kind of slow. Well, we've been going for longer than I thought. We are still taking ends off. It's probably my third unload that I've done so far. Got around 20,000 pounds on right now. Dad sheared the bolt on the auger, so uh, he had to run down and grab some parts to fix that. So wagons will not be unloaded until he gets back and fixes that. A lot of shit's going wrong this first day, which is good because, hey, get it out of the way today and we'll be off like a Swiss watch for the next few weeks with no problems. Cross our fingers. Oh, nuts. What happened? Literally. Well, last year you bragged that we didn't shear a bolt all year and that's right, we didn't. If I was thinking, I should have thought, oh, that son of a bitch is probably about toast that I should have changed the shear bolt, but I didn't. So now then I got a hopper full of corn and a broken shear bolt. I brought two because I'm pretty sure I'll snap the first one. So we'll see how we get along. Radio's not working, shearing bolts. Hey, we're just getting all the bad stuff out of the way first. And why is he still going? <laughs> the corn is wet. Tell him I don't want any more wet corn. Well, there's a bright side. At least it didn't spill over. Because there's been times where we've sheared the bolt and didn't realize it, or one of us was checking the fans or whatever and you come back over here and it's just pouring out. I'd say you did pretty good. You caught your mistake pretty pretty fast, so. Well, I wasn't very far away when it happened, but I just was like, because I wasn't even running it very fast. I, I was like, what the hell? We should be good for another year. Put it on your list. Fingers crossed. Make yourself a note, put it in your notes. Okay, we'll see what happens. God! Dang. That's not a good sound. There was too much corn in there to get it going, man. Well, you can't really do anything about that besides... Oh, I'm going to take that door off. Oh. Let it roll out on the ground. Happy times. Happy times. When something screws over torque once, that's one thing. But when something screws torque over twice, that's when he's gonna start having words. Is that just clear full of crap? No. Yeah, I cleaned it out last fall when we were done, but it took the pressure off from the hopper, so it let it go. So it'll be fine. Just time this time we're in good shape now good shape all right i think we're gonna be done uh picking corn today got all the ends off on that field and that'll be the first field we go to for corn got that wagon that we're dumping now we got that wagon that i'm gonna dump on with the rest that's on my grain cart and then david's got a little bit uh that he's still got on his combine we're gonna be unloading for i don't know 30 minutes to an hour but once it gets all in the bin It'll start transferring over. What are we transferring over at? Well, we're gonna start maybe about 17. What's it coming into at? Oh, hell, 27 probably. It's too wet, 27. When it transfers, it's gonna be like 140 degrees. If you transfer it at 17 and it cools down to 60 degrees, that may still be too dry. We'll just have to sample and see, but as it cools down, it gets drier. What you don't want is, you don't want to go hauling corn that's less than 14 and a half, 15. I'll have to play with it a little bit. So we'll finish dumping these loads and then 
Tomorrow we're gonna be packing orders at the Farmer Grade HQ, and then we're gonna be trying beans over at David's to see if they'll go or not. Well, folks, that's gonna call it a day. I say we had a semi-successful day for our first day of harvest 2024. I had a lot of fun, had a lot of trial and error, but it made things interesting, so can't beat that. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you guys, we love you guys. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.